Bernie Doodle versus Labradoodle. Are you new to the massive world of doodles? If so, it can probably be pretty overwhelming to sort through all of the information about breeds, temperament, and other things you probably see floating around online. Thankfully, we pride ourselves on remaining a trusted source of information about everything doodle, which is why we are happy to bring you guys another dog breed comparison video. Today's dogs will include the Bernie Doodle and the Labradoodle, two of the most popular doodles you can find. We will be going pretty in-depth here so that anyone deciding for themselves will have as much info as possible, and we encourage you all to give your thoughts down in the comments below too. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at both the Bernie Doodle as well as the Labradoodle and try to figure out what both can offer. Origin Story Before we get too bogged down in the specifics, now feels like a perfect time to fill you in a little more on each breed. Let's start out first with the Bernie Doodle, since it's the less common of the two. Bernie Doodles are created by crossing a poodle with a Bernese Mountain Dog. While they inherit a non-shedding, hypoallergenic coat from the poodle, they get their size and friendly, calm demeanor from their Bernese side. These dogs are the definition of gentle giants, and the Bernie Doodle is one of the bigger doodle breeds that you will find out there. The Labradoodle is also a massive dog, and it is also one of the most recognizable doodle breeds you'll find out there. This dog shares a lot in common with the Golden Doodle, except instead of being half golden, the Labradoodle is half poodle and half Labrador retriever instead. These are fiercely loyal, family-oriented animals that will fit perfectly in a home with other animals, kids, or really anything. These are active dogs too, and gel well with people who like to exercise or be outdoors. How they size up Doodles are designer dogs, and as a result, there is a lot more customization than you may be used to, which makes talking about things like size, coat color, or other specifics a little complicated. Both of these dogs come in three sizes, which are all available for purchase if you are able to find the right breeder. Starting with the Bernie Doodle, these dogs can weigh as little as 10 to 24 pounds, in what is known as the Tiny category. The next biggest size, known as the Miniature category, features Bernie Doodles between 24 and 49 pounds when full grown. The most common, as well as the largest category, however, is known as the Standard size, which is around 70 and 90 pounds. Labradoodles, on the other hand, start as little as 15 pounds to 25 pounds, which fits them in the miniature group. Medium-sized Labradoodles can weigh between 30 and 45 pounds, and standard Labradoodles are between 50 and 65 pounds. Generally speaking, the Bernie Doodle is the larger dog, and that makes sense since Bernie's Mountain Dogs are known for their large, fluffy appearance. If you want that translated into doodle form, then the Bernie Doodle is probably your pick when it comes to size. But Labradoodles are also big dogs in their own right, and what they lose in size, they make up for in energy. Personality Size is fun to talk about, and it's definitely a huge part of the decision-making process when it comes to deciding on a dog, but for most people, the personality is the most important part. Interestingly enough, this is probably the aspect in which the Labradoodle and Bernie Doodle are most different, as they tend to both have their own unique thing they do well in. We know we've said it once or twice already, but it's really worth noting how active the Labradoodle is going to be. We don't mean to sound like a broken record, but many Labradoodle owners claim that it's the part that most stood out to them, and for many, their favorite quality. They're also smart animals, as both the Lab and Poodle excel in intelligence. Labradoodles want nothing more than to be useful to you, and they love making their owners happy. If you want an adorable furball that doubles as the perfect therapy or service animal, then the Labradoodle is about as perfect as they get. But the Bernie Doodle is also a very lovable dog in its own right. Bernie Doodles are generally relaxed and easygoing, but they definitely aren't dull animals. Bernie Doodles can be quite strong-willed and even stubborn on occasion, in a way that resembles more of a husky than a doodle. These dogs are clever, and they are at their happiest when they are spending the day with the family. Bernie Doodles tend to be less active than the Labradoodle, as they are dogs that love to cuddle and lounge around, but they can still have a great time outside if you want to be a little more active. Lifespan and Health Both of these dogs live to be around 12 to 18 years old, which is pretty good for dogs their size. When it comes to health, 
your biggest aid is going to be buying from a solid breeder who has the proper paperwork ready. Puppy mills and sketchy breeders can cut down your time with your doodle, as they are more likely to develop health issues if the proper steps aren't taken by the breeder. Like most large dogs, you're going to want to make sure to keep in close contact with your vet in case something happens. Joint problems are somewhat common, as well as eye issues, and so you're going to want to make sure nothing is going on without your knowledge. If you buy from a reputable breeder and keep an eye on your dog though, there's no reason to believe your dog can't live a full and long life with minimal complications. Grooming Needs Another thing these dogs both share in common are their coats, which are usually inherited from the poodle side. This unique coat doesn't shed, but it is going to require some special treatment instead. That includes taking your pet to the groomer every 6 to 12 weeks, brushed twice a week or more with a special dog brush, and giving them a bath every few months. If you aren't able to take proper care of the dog's coat, it could develop tangles and matting, which will require special groomer intervention. If the appearance of the coat isn't all that important to you, however, you can spring for the puppy cut, a shaved down look that will cut down on the maintenance you will have to go through. The puppy cut is also perfect for summer and should help keep your dog cooler even as it starts to heat up outside. Training Training is another aspect that's pretty different between each dog, with the Labradoodle being arguably the easier experience. Labradoodles require that you wear them out a little so that they will listen first, but their high IQ as well as their general desire to make you happy usually turns this into a pretty straightforward experience. In fact, Labradoodles actually get a lot out of training, and teaching them new tricks is a good way to keep them stimulated mentally. Bernie Doodles aren't quite as easy to train, and that has to do with their trademark stubbornness. Simply put, these dogs are just too smart for their own good, and will often pick and choose which of your commands they will respond to. This stubborn nature of theirs strikes mostly during adolescence, and so most experts will suggest you begin training them right away after bringing them home. Bernie Doodles tend to mature pretty slowly, so getting an early start can help bank some progress as you wait for them to become ready to receive instructions again. Upfront Cost Getting a Bernie Doodle or Labradoodle is a big investment, both in terms of money as well as time. All in all, you're going to potentially spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this dog over the next decade plus, but how much of a hit is it in the short term? Well, in this regard, the Bernie Doodle is the bigger investment, with puppies costing between $2,500 and $5,000. This number grows or shrinks depending on factors such as size, coat color and type, and breeder reputation. Labradoodle pups are quite a bit cheaper, but will still cost between $1,200 and $3,000 when things are all said and done. Which dog do you prefer? And what factor tipped the scales for you? Leave a comment for us so we can read what you wrote, as we are really curious. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leaving a like is a great way to support us. If you want to see more dog breed comparisons, subscribe to our channel and check out our other stuff. We'll see you all next time for another Doodle video.